hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video i am using ios 18.3 from five days now and this is a five day review of ios 18.3 in this video i will be sharing that how battery performed and also how the performance is going on so without any further delay i really don't want to waste any time so let's get jump into this video now for the battery for sure I will get into the settings into the battery section let the battery stats load first thing first is there any sort of battery reading no there is no battery reading you know as you can see this graph over here let me bring it closer there is like couple of percent drop two to three percent drop and two to three percent drop is completely normal it's not a big thing it's normal it is not a battery draining because there's a lot of stuff going in the background so this drop is completely normal so there is no battery draining in the ios 18.3 which is a big plus point now let's see how 18.3 is performing so this is the first day when i started using ios 18.3 and as you can see this graph over here I use like 85% of my device and I got screen on time of 7 hours and 48 minutes. Now during this time I use YouTube, WhatsApp, um, Instagram and some other applications and this is actually a really decent, it's a really good screen on time being very honest. The next day I used around 80% and this time I got 7 hours of screen on time. And I got used to use like Netflix a lot, WhatsApp, TikTok and some other applications as you can see. Now moving to the other day where I use almost 100% like you can call it 98% maybe. It is almost 100% and this time I got 7 hours and 43 minutes screen on time which is also quite decent. I use again Netflix a lot, Instagram a lot, some other applications. This time I was also using camera as you can see I used camera for 26 minutes. I showed a video of iPhone 10s running iOS 18.3 if you have a check on that video go to my other channel if you want that video let put the comment section below and some other applications like TikTok WhatsApp and this is also a decent screen on time on this day I used just 5 or uh, 50 percent of my device I was not quite active and this time I got 3 hours and 22 minutes screen on time this is not good um if I average this out it is around 6 hours and 30 minutes that is also decent but not that good on this day i use 75 percent of my device and i got five hours and 10 minutes screen on time whatsapp instagram tiktok spotify youtube and some other applications so this is a decent screen on time being very honest with you guys um the screen on time is very much improved from 18.2 it is way better from 18.2.1 and also there is no battery draining at all all so i'm pretty much very happy with how the things are going on so far so this is all about the battery life now it's time to move to the kick point to see how these scores are performing over here so i will go to the this over here i ran the test uh, right after installing the update it was 2364 on a single core while 5903 on a multi core now if i compare this single core with the multi core over here sorry single core with the average one over here average iphone 14 score is 20 to 42 while on this device running 18.3 i am getting a much higher scores as you can see and that is got for go for a multi core too the average iphone 14 uh, multi core score is 5473 while i am getting 5903 so scores are good definitely this score is not the best one but still this is a really really good score after a couple of days of using it while i ran another test this time i got lower a uh, bit lower a uh, multi-core score as you can see but still in terms of performance i haven't faced any sort of issue things are working really really fine everything is going really really smooth and i'm really enjoying the performance on the ios 18.3 which is insane now i want to read some of your comments over here so this one is seriously after i read all the comments about ios 18.3 i think this update only improve old model iphone battery not the newest iphone model me myself have battery drain problem seriously regret about this um first of all let me know what iphone you are using i'm just gonna comment this and yes for the old iphone there is a big improvement 
like on the iphone 10 as there is no battery draining at all and things are really good so just let me know what iphone you are using so we can talk further also yesterday i posted a video in which i talk about how you can fix battery draining and overheating if it is happening to you go and watch that video 18.3 beta was amazing 18.3 final release not as good not as sharp snappy lagging batteries not good so far for me beta compared to rc there's a big difference um, in overall performance and falls back to burning hot and batteries horrific i should have never i installed ios 18 at all it has done a great job of ruining my iphone okay so yes um i was uh, i was 18.3 beta 3 was the best one it got me higher scores ever uh, rc was also good on the 18.3 final release scores are lower but i haven't faced any sort of issue like i am use, using this phone for every other thing that you are supposed to be doing and i haven't faced um overheating maybe you are charging your device in a wrong way maybe you are using a bad charger so you know on my channel there are a lot of videos how you can fix the battery draining just go to my channel and search the video you will find it so it might help you out okay so it is a comment on touch response issue i was almost selling my phone because of this phones are so expensive and i will be at a loss so i will wait and see if apple fixes it um a touch response issue is pretty much fixed on the ios 18.3 if you want i will make a, another video but yes there was a touch response issue on the 18.2 also on, on the 18.2 but one but with the 18.3 it is pretty much fixed after updating 18.3 attention aware feature not working sound not dimming on incoming call iphone 14 pro max um maybe you just restart your device a fire and maybe it got fixed because um for me it is working perfectly fine and i haven't like um no one like uh, talking about this thing so it may be just happening to your iphone you can just restart it maybe it get fixed something like that unity wallpaper is good but i want your wallpaper that mounted one please you can just like dm me on instagram if you want any wallpaper i will send you that wallpaper no issue at all my magnifier works but it always in black and white i cannot zoom, zoom in color any suggestions please thank okay magnifier is one of the most underrated app being very honest um i really like this app okay that is a lot of dirt or there as you can see but you can do like a couple of settings maybe you have changed something with contrast or like something like that um i will like look into it and I, if i find the solution i will definitely make a short video for you um as an android user that switched to iphone it isn't that different from androids you want to know the real reason overheating of overheating um it's mobile data yes on both android and iphone mobile data hits something voice and other it could be it could be but on my iphone 10 as i use mobile data for sometimes but sometimes it gets slightly heat up but that is normal being very honest it's a tech device there's lot of chips inside lot of things going on getting slightly heat up is completely normal so no worries about that so these are some of your comments that i wanted to include in this video well this is all from this video i hope you are doing great and i will hopefully hopefully um catch you in the next one peace out